Hi everyone. So this is the second time I'm, reco <laughs> I'm recording this video. Um, I wanted for us to look through my completed pages in all of my mythographic books. So I recorded that once and then I once I finished I was, had that feeling that there's something missing. I feel like I missed something and of course I have. I have. I missed um, two books actually I missed. So this is a second attempt. <laughs> <laughs> let's see let's see what we've got so I counted I think I've got 19 uh, completed pages across um, mythographic books there are of course mythographic books that I have not colored in yet and actually most of them are the um, the first ones so the, the the oldest of the the books that were released initially that's because I was trying to and I'm still trying to keep up with the new ones that are coming and try to color at least one page in them as they come so yeah so i've got uh, mostly the more recent books and i think two or three of the older ones and let's maybe start with the the older ones so i've got one page in mythographic paradise but this one is by fabiana atanasio it's a lovely book this one still had the hidden objects in it. And I did this page, which I really, really like. Uh, it's you, you, I mean, usually in the mythographic books, funny enough, um, I use markers a lot, as you may know, but mostly in uh, Amazon printed books. Um, even though absolutely you can use markers uh, in mythographics because the pages are single-sided. But for some reason, I really enjoy how polychromos work on this paper. And I usually, usually uh, use polychromos in mythographic books. Not exclusively, of course, but most of the time. So this is the case in here as well. So all the greenery, butterflies, the gramophone, Everything is done with polychromos. There is a little bit of moon gold, I think, watercolor. You can probably see. And the background, I think it was based in um, graphite tint, but I went over with the pencil over um, the graphite tint because it was a bit too light. So I wanted it slightly deeper. So, yeah, I went with um, olive green polychromos, um, yeah, pencil over the background. So, yeah, there were no markers used in here, in this one in particular. And I really love, like, um, uh, I really love how this came out. Um, there are some hidden objects that I just colored because they're not terribly offensive I felt like for example this violin in here it kind of fits because you know music and gramophone and stuff and I thought it was actually okay and um, there is like a candle that I colored in here looking glass I think in here this I colored not because it isn't offensive but it was difficult for that one to hide um and there are some in here, like one, two, three, four, that are in a background that were five uh, even, that were kind of easy to hide for me. And unless you know they're there, you can't really tell. So six, <laughs> there was six of them that I covered in a background. Um, yeah, I don't like the hidden objects, but they don't stop me coloring in this book. So I didn't color much in the older books, not because of hidden objects, it's just because I'm trying to keep up with the releases of the new ones. So that was Mythographic Paradise. Um, I then have one page in Wild Winter. Um, that's by Joseph Kattenbank. And this one also have hidden objects. And I colored this page, which is really lovely illustration and yeah I am colored that a while ago and I'm really happy with how that turned out again I use polychromos in here the background is based I think it in ink tans the, the indigo blue and then the clouds are in pencil 
I think the cat is based in graphite tint and just shaded a little bit with pencil. Um, and I think the person in here is possibly in markers a little bit, yes. So the coat and the skin tone are uh, based in marker. And the rest are pencils. And you can see probably there is some glitter watercolor on the big snowflakes. So the little ones are silver in silver gel pan, but the big ones, there is glitter watercolor on top. Or oh, now maybe you can see. Yeah, some iridescent um, watercolor paint on the fish. That's the kind of blue. Not this one because it was too much. So this one is in pencil, but those ones with the less of a blue in them, have watercolor and there's some gold watercolor on the big fish as well so if you can see on this one and this one in particular i think so it's not an accident i didn't spill the watercolor i intentionally just dabbed in and kind of smeared this a bit this watercolor a bit so to have that kind of effect like on this one so they are messed up slightly on purpose. <laughs> yeah, that was intentional. And yeah, really, really happy with this page. And that was in Wild Winter by Joseph Kattenbank. And then we've got um, the newish ones. And I think the ones that are coming are all without hidden objects. So Voyage was my first mythographic book I bought actually that's when I started coloring them when, when Voyage um, came out and incidentally that's the first book without hidden objects so I do have a page in here that's my very first mythographic page and it's this one I put the date July 2022 I dated my pages like for like maybe three or four months and then I kind of give up <laughs> I don't do that anymore I don't know I just don't I don't care. <laughs> um, yeah, so this one was done mostly in, yeah, in pencil. Again, polychromos. And the background, if you can see, is iridescent and has like different colors. So I done the background with the mica powders. I think they called, what they called, magic something. Oh, I never remember. Sorry for the noise. Let me see if I can grab one to show you. I can find them oh yeah those ones so they are called mica magic there you go i knew it was magic something they look like eyeshadow and they behave similarly to eyeshadow and i think i'm not sure if you can buy them i i bought them on i think on amazon actually but I don't think you can find them anymore. It took me a while to find um, a couple of other colors. But I think I'm pretty sure that you can achieve uh, the same effect uh, with ordinary cheap eyeshadow. Like, you know, the, the pearl ones or glitter ones or something. Those are like pearl kind of ones. Um... So yeah, so I did the background in in those. And this was done, the water was done in gel crayon. And the rest I think is, um, yeah, the rest is pencil and there is a little bit of a glitter watercolor again on that kind of, I don't know what that is, smoke from his <laughs> fox's tail. <laughs> I don't know what that is. This effect, whatever that is, has a glitter watercolor on it. Yeah, I really like this page. And obviously sentimental because that was my very first mythographic. That's how my love for mythographic books started, you might say. All right, the next one, let's grab Aviary. That's also by Joseph Kattenbank. And I'm pretty sure... The, at least up until Aviary, that was like the only portrait that was in here. And of course, this is what I colored. 
so yeah so i colored this lovely lady and i really love how she turned out um the background is done i think with watercolor pencils if i remember correctly everything else her hair is and her skin tone is definitely based in marker yeah but not the mask and jewelry and everything else so it's like skin and hair um and i'm really happy how all that turned out the jewels and the gold and the mask um again i tried a slightly something slightly new for me on the mask um, i don't know if you will be able to see hopefully you will be able to see that again it has kind of smeared a little bit of gold this time it's not a watercolor it's a gold ink you know the windsor and newton gold ink so i literally just took it dab my finger in it and kind of smeared it over because i wanted that effect that it gives and i absolutely love it i must use it again i forgot how good that looks i mean to me that looks good <laughs> of course you might disagree and yeah i really like how her jewels came out and quite quite happy with the gold as well there was a lot of gold to color that's all i'm saying and lots of feathers so i was trying to for the feathers to look you know slightly kind of different so this ones i just left uh, because the mask gives a bit more interest into it so i left the feathers pretty much grayish black and this ones looked um, i did it the same way um but then it looked to me a little bit boring so I went over the glitter gel pen a little bit, the green one, and much more happy with it. My inner magpie that needs a shine in a page took over <laughs> at some stage in here. So there we go. So that was Aviary. Next we've got Deep Blue. That's by Fabiana Atanasio, and I have one page in here. It's this one, and for me, that's very colorful. Most of it is done with either ink tens, the background is in ink tens, or uh, watercolor pencils, and that's the coral beads, I think, and the fish. And then on top of that, um, I shaded a little bit with ordinary pencils, polychromos again. And there is obviously a lot of white gel pan over the fish. Yeah, quite happy with it. Although this is like really bright. <laughs> I think that's quite unusual for me. I must go back to this book because there are a couple of other things that I like in here. It's not my favorite book, I have to say. But there are a couple of um, pages that I like. Well, not a couple, probably more than a couple. There we go. Labyrinth next. That's also by Joseph Katimbank. And we've got the first page colored here, I think. Yeah. So I'm insanely happy with this page. Um, I had no idea when I started this page what color palette I'm going to use. Um, sometimes that's what happens <laughs> in Metographics. So I started with what I was sure um i like the color i wanted to um i was sure what color i wanted so that was the brickwork and stuff so i wanted that to be like stonework more like gray once i've done this then i've done the the helix the wooden helix and the leaves because i thought yeah i'll do it kind of regular colors and then i progressed to flowers i decided i want purple and lilac flowers and slowly but surely <laughs> we ended up on a mustard gray uh, mustard yellow background and i think it works it works i love it i love it i had no idea that will be my background when i started this page that's all i'm saying love this page really really good another excellent book i mean i love all the metographics i'm not objective at all when it comes to metographic i love them all equally illusion so this is book by diego weisberg who was a new artist to metographic 
last year and I've got a page whoops page in here done as well and it's this one again really like it uh, a lot of it was based in graffiti tint that was the background and the rocks and the grass I think that's it um yeah the girl and the dress were done in markers and I think the planets yeah the orange planets and then um the moon was done with pencils and so was the rest of the stuff and the shade uh, shaded over the graphite tint with polychromos again so yeah really love this one i really love i need to use it again and uh, more often this uh, watercolor this is called black gold and it's beautiful it really kind of has this very unusual gold color so i must remember to use it more often very pretty and yeah i really like this illustration and really happy with how that turned out so that's illusion by diego weisberg then we've got fairy wonderland awesome book by fabiana atanasio and i colored in this one too and it's this moth fairy i mean that's how i call her i don't know if that's what she is but well now what that's what she is so obviously this is not so much realistic because i'm pretty sure there are no pink bright pink moths <laughs> anywhere that i remember oh, maybe who knows well i don't know of them if they are not very knowledgeable <laughs> in respect of moths but yeah i just wanted a really limited color palette and um i really love how that turned out really really love it i used um olive greens for background and leaves but different greens like bluish greens for the actual was it like cocoon or something or her wings folding into cocoon something like this what the difference so i was worried a little bit that it's gonna clash but actually i think it works it makes her stand out a little bit from the background if she was in exactly the same greens that might kind of be less um she might be less noticeable she would blend into the background too much i think so yeah it was at the time i wasn't sure whether that's gonna work because i thought you know two different kinds of greens might be a bit much and they might clash but actually i think it worked and i love it love it as you can see also there is a lot of uh, silver gel pen on the moths and on the what i think is uh or what you call it, spider web or something not well, or you know some sort of webby thing so yeah there's a lot of silver japan in here yeah love this page and that was fairy wonderland by fabiana atanasio next we've got crystal kingdom which is the most recent mythographic that i colored in so i just received when when i'm filming this i just received a couple of days ago i think uh, shangri-la by alessandra fussi but i haven't yet uh, started coloring in it i will of course but i haven't started it so it's not included but the ones that i colored is this one the last one that i've colored in and this is crystal kingdom by veronica kolinska and I colored this page in here and yeah that was a little bit of a mission here I don't know I loved this page from the beginning and I, I don't know why they just bugs but I don't know I just loved it uh, it was love at first at first sight with those little bugs for some reason but yeah I started with a background which I actually don't often do I know that you probably supposed to but it just doesn't work for me to start with the background sometimes i do but very rarely actually but in this one i started with a background and again i went for like olive green and then once i had that and i've done it in pencil so that was a lot of work <laughs> a lot of work 
Uh, once I've done it, I then went to leaves and branches and then the actual bugs. And I did not like how the background was. I mean, the background was just not working for me. It was, it needed to be much darker. So, yes, yeah, so I went over with, I think they, I'm, I never know whether they inks or watercolors because there are like different names of it sometimes. I'll show you. Gansai Tambi Graphite Colors, I think. See this kind of green? Obviously, this one is not watered down a lot, so it came out really kind of solid, which is what I wanted. So it's not, It's. I didn't want it to be black, obviously. I would go for black if I wanted, but um, I wanted it to be really, really deep green, and I think that works really well. It's also quite matte, which I think it's even better. And yeah, once I've done the background again, <laughs> then I've done all the gems and I think that works. Yeah, really happy. I often do any kind of wings of creatures, fairies and any other wings creatures with a silk outline in a silver pen. I think that works well for me. So you see that again. Yeah, really love this one. And this is a lovely, lovely book. I've got like so many pages that I want to do in here. I love it. And then we've got some other books that I have more than one page in. So in Magical Earth, of that's by Joseph Katimbang, I've got two pages. Because most of my metographics has one, but this one has two. So there is this one. And this is done, apart from this green background, just this green background, everything is done with polychromos in here. And the green background is done with like um, light green acrylic pen. That's why it's so textured. I could, if I wanted to cover that, like with a similar color pencil and it would be more even, but I actually like the way that it's kind of a little bit textured. So yeah, I just like the way it came out. So I left it like this. I think it's it looks better. Um, and obviously everything else is done with polychromos. All the little bits as well. Yeah. Some people were kind of call me out saying this is done with fine liner. No, it's 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 not. It's 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 really polychromos. You can get, and I like my pencils sharpened to a very very sharp point. Just to show you, this is how I like my pencils, and in polychromos really keep their point quite well. So it's quite easy to do that with polychromos. So yeah, no, fine liners, There's nothing wrong with using fine liners. I have fine liners, but I did not use it for this particular thing because I didn't need to. I really like this one. And then I've got, I think it's a last page that I've done in here somewhere. Yeah, and we've got this flamingo in here. Love the color palette. I think I used the color cube for this one. I think on my Instagram there is a reference which um, which color palette that was from the color cube. I can't remember right now, but it's it's on my Instagram if you want to. Um, and yeah, I really love love the color palette. I must use it again because um, I think it's limited, but it's just it's just so nice and quite. Well, I, I think quite unusual, actually. And on the clouds, again, I use these mica powders that I showed you before, which is why they a bit iridescent. See? So that's the mica powders. This part of background is soft pastel. I, I use everything in here. Um, there is a gel pen on the green line thingies, wherever they are. I have a feeling they have a name. And I... Pretty sure I knew that name, but I can't remember it not right now. But you know, you know the things, hanging things. A green glitter pen, not uh, yeah, glitter gel pen. 
and in here the iridescent bits on the water those are watercolor green iridescent watercolor on top of i think graffiti yeah the flamingo and the bits and bobs in here are polychromous and yeah really really like this one i think it's very pretty so yeah two pages in magical earth and now i've got two books where i've got four pages in each and they both by Fabiana Atanasio. The first one is Cosmic Spirit. So I've got four pages in here. One of my favorite books, mythographic books. So I've got this Aquarius, which is very, very blingy. There is a lot of shine in here. <laughs> Let me see if I can fiddle with it to show you. There we go, see? Lots of shiny, so shiny it's like blinding. Clearly, again, my inner magpie just went for it. <laughs> so, yeah, there is a lot of watercolor, shiny watercolor. So, all of the shiny bits, um, all of the shiny bits actually, um, including the gold in here, are watercolor. And underneath watercolor, all the like plants and pot and shading on the person are uh, polychromos again so yeah really like this one although it's very very shiny and then we've got here so i think this page that was uh, tarot inspired that's wheel of fortune love this one you can see the gold, the watercolor gold, rubbed off a little bit, so it's like smeared all over the place. <laughs> Maybe I should spray it with fixative. I don't know. It didn't rub off completely, but clearly rubbed off a little bit because it's like gold particles all over the place. Eh, it makes it quite nice, actually. No worries. So, yeah. Uh, again, quite interesting what um, color palette. I did not, for, for a moment, I did not think that will work, but actually I really like it. So it definitely was one of those pages. There were, there were a few like this, actually. Um, the bugs uh, in Crystal Kingdom, this page, and I'm sure a few others were going through like ugly stage. You know what I'm talking about? Sometimes the pages go, go through ugly stage and then once you've finished everything, then they look all right. And this is definitely one of those that I wasn't sure that this will work. But actually it does. I like it. And then we've got Leo in here, which is Gustav Klimt inspired <laughs> quite clearly, I think. Except this is more green and greenish gold than gold gold as Gustav Klimt usually you can see on his paintings it's more like yellow and gold this is more green and gold um but it's clearly gustav klimt inspired so yeah like this one uh the background is i think that was graffiti pretty sure and everything else is polychromous and watercolor of course all the shiny bits are watercolor so we've got Leo in here, and there is another one, I think, tarot inspired. And this is the Emperor, which I love. This is one of my favorite pages ever in Mythographic. So the background in here is ink tense and it's actually indigo blue. It might look black, but it's not. It's like really, really dark blue, and it's so dark that it looks like velvet almost, you know, which is just fantastic. I do, yeah, this probably doesn't translate on camera, but it just looks like velvety. I don't know. It looks great. Um, and again, uh, there is a, a little bit of gel pen on the headdress bits because they were just too thin for watercolor. So I use gel pen. Um, there is a little bit of watercolor gold in here on the writing and everything else and his skin is based in marker definitely but everything else is yeah everything else 
is polychromos again and i love it i love 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 this page one of my favorites ever yeah awesome book again one of my favorites and my another of my favorites which is probably well not many people's favorites if anyone for some reason i love this book uh, menagerie which is again by fabiana atanasio and i again have four pages in here so we've got first one which is this elephant and again i thought that was quite colorful page for me not my usual and again i love how that turned out so there is a lot of graphite tint in here that i used there were the graphite tint pencils elephant water the tree trunks i think not the leaves the leaves are polychromos the flowers and mushrooms are polychromos this is polychromos with the gold water color of course and the background is ink tense i think or graphite tint one of them and some watercolors on on some bits of it as you can see very very pretty love this page then the next one i have in here are those cranes that's one of my very first pages in metagraphics as well and i'm always just so proud of this one i think it looks awesome i'm still really really happy with it love the colors just love it love it i think it's such a beautiful page yeah very pretty and i think i've got two more yeah so i've got the hedgehogs here here i used a lot of ink tents so the leaves are in ink tents and the background is in i think watercolor pencils not so much ink tents as watercolor pencils and the hedgehogs are i think yeah there is no marker here so the hedgehogs and everything else is in uh, polychromos and there are some white posca bits on the hedgehogs just to give them that little bit of you know spiky <laughs> appearance love this one it was so much fun to do this one i love it and so pretty as well look at this little faces pretty and i also have this page so again this one i love i might be the only one that loved this one but I, <laughs> it seems but um i do love this one i think the limited color palettes color palette with the pop of blue turquoise blue just works i love it and i love the lacy um, wings that i did with black glitter pen see i'm trying to wiggle that so you can see a little bit here love how they turn out the glitter love the black glitter so pretty and yeah again i think that the limited color palette really worked in here very pretty love this page so yeah so those were all of my completed pages in mythographic books. I think 19 I counted when I counted them before filming. Um, obviously, like I said, I have not colored in all of the books yet. Although in some I colored like four pages each. So, you know, if I kept to coloring one page in each, I would have probably colored in all of them by now. But, you know, I want to make some progress on some of them more than one page so here we are it took me since june 2022 until march 2024 to color 19 mythographic pages <laughs> so i think any updating video on completed pages in mythographic is not going to come out in until about 2026 <laughs> <laughs> give it another two years or so isn't it so then it should be more more to look through but i think it's not bad you know almost 20 pages across the books is not bad and definitely definitely my favorite like book series 
um, you can say. I love all the artists, I love all the books, I've got all the books and they are auto buy for me, so I will have all the books. Flip throughs are on the channel of all of them if you want to, there is a special playlist for them. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed looking through the pages that I've done so far. And yeah, let me know which one was your favorite. Do you have a favorite even? <laughs> and which one of the mythographic books you like the most? Because that's also very interesting to me. I've got a few, so I can't really say. I love them all, like I said, but I've got a few. I don't have one that I love the most. All right, stop talking. <laughs> uh, I'll see you shortly and have a lovely day. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.